What's going on everyone? Let's play uh, Resident Evil 3 still. You know, last episode we left off right here. And actually I don't have to go there. Uh, although I'm in caution, I probably should go there to heal myself. Anyways, if you use the fire hose on this uh, fire hydrant here, you can actually put this fire out and uh, clear up a new pathway for us to go to another whole place. And as you can see, Firewoman uh, Jill is going to do it. And it's done. Now before we actually go, let me just go to the box, see if I can have a green herb to heal myself, because trust me, I'm gonna need it. Especially with all the freaking monsters that's gonna come up right sometime next. Um, I just don't really want to take any risks. Oh, there's a green herb here. I think that's all I need, a green herb. But if I need anything else, like uh, more powerful than a green herb, I don't know. I'll just use this and see if I'll go to... No, I'm still in caution. Guess I needed something more powerful. Do you have another green herb with me? Uh, I don't think so. So I just basically wasted that green herb. Great. Well, it wasn't a waste because it did heal my. It did heal me, just not as much as I was hoping. Anyways, uh, let's hope that healed me enough for me to move on with the game. And um, yeah, let's go through the new pet that we just opened. And actually, let me equip the shotgun, and for a good reason. I guess you guys are going to see why in a minute. So this new room, uh, I think on. the previous uh, episode I, I told you guys that we're going to go get the uh, all additive on the other room uh, it then ended up being the fuse sorry if I confused you guys this is the all additive here there was a fuse there as you guys can see like on the top corner right there there's a zombie on the on that window top left corner the zombie walking there right so he's in that room and uh, he cannot harm you and you cannot harm it and also, there is you will never go to that room. There's no access to it or anything. My question is, why is that zombie there? Uh, this is Square Crank, which we get another crank in this game. And this is also a big ass monster. Oh crap, he's gonna give us a hug now. And definitely put me on. Okay, he didn't put me on the engine, but it certainly did took. Freaking hell, this certainly took health on me. Alright, so he's dead. Um, yeah, this is the crank, another crank. This, if you haven't noticed already, it's a square crank. No, it's not rusty, it's not bad, it's just a normal crank, square crank that you can use. Or will use sometime in the future. I don't think we're gonna use it any time soon that I can think of, honestly. No! What's going on there? Don't Guess we're gonna see this, a scene. Murphy. I don't wanna shoot you! Get him! Oh, Kill more me. drama. I finished? Not human. Wait, we we don't have to do this. Don't. Oh yes, we do. Please hurry before I lose conscious. It seems like on every freaking Resident friend. Evil game, there's always like a very dramatic scene where you're gonna have to kill, or one character kills another important character to him. Like you either kill your dad, your partner, one of guys of your team. Murphy. Um. I guess they dropped this now on this later Resident Evils, but Jesus Christ, man, that was getting way too cheesy for me. <laughs> and, oh well. After you see this scene, Carl is gonna run like a little bitch, and I guess we can move on with the game. He's probably just gonna trim someone's backyard or clear some leaves or whatever. Whatever Mexicans do. Now, if you uh, press X in here, you should see the manager's reports. Pause the video if you're gonna read all this. I don't, I don't care about it personally. Anyways, uh, it's kind of important though, but I don't need it. You see it's something sparkling here, which is the remote control for the TV. So let's turn it on and see what's on TV. Seth's brain. Okay, I guess it's like uh, erectile dysfunction pills. So, um, why did we just watch that, you must ask yourself. Well, because there's a computer here, which is going to need a password. And guess what the password is going to be? Yep, if you just said Saf Spring is certain. I don't even know if I'm spelling this correct. Saf Spring, I hope that's right. Was that right? Oh, yes, it was. Now, why did it, we have to watch the TV to watch that? Because there's three different uh, products on the TV that show at any time. In it, It's just like random. Um, it, it could be ad reveal, Saf Spring, or... Blah, it could be any of them, so... You know, I don't honestly know which one is going to be at any time. Even though it, you, you can play this 10 times and, and from the 10 times have the exact same product. Or you can play this 3 times and 3 times have 3 different products. It's random. 
I think this is the second time I'm playing this now. This part and it's a different one now. It's the first time I've actually been a different one because I've played this two other times, which has been the same. Oh well. As soon as you get that, let's simply just equip the pistol for now, and you guys are going to see why in just a minute. So the exit there. Well, wait. There's a scene here. What's going on? Oh, zombies coming in. I didn't saw them when I first came in here, but I guess they're out there now. So um, let's just take care of him, I suppose. Oh no! There's all zombies going around. That was scary. Oh look, they can also open the door and come to the exact room that I, I'm in. What a coincidence. Anyway, there's an easy way and a hard way to kill them. Uh, I'm more of an easy way guy. So let's shoot that valve handle there and let the steam take care of them. Sadly enough, the steam will, will not take care of all of them. Uh, although it kind of creates a barrier between them and you. And there's another steam valve in case you want to shoot that one too and be behind it and wait for them to come so you can basically create another barrier. Let's reload this pistol and I'll actually equip the shotgun again now because there are going to be some close encounters right here to which I really just want to avoid. The one that gets uh, beaten by any of these bastards. That's why I'm just going to be careful and take no precautions because Trust me, there's going to be a part here which is going to be kind of difficult and you will not want to get beaten here. Wow, they're still walking. I think I had once added like a heated, not a heated, but um, I, I guess we had kind of a discussion where we say, would it even be possible for a person to continue on walking normally if you blow their heads off with a shotgun? Uh, my friends seem to believe yes, and I seem to believe not exactly, although it, I believe it's possible that you could. I don't think it's possible because, be, uh, when well, if you were to shoot someone or decapitate them, they wouldn't be able to continue walking because of the impact of the shots, they would just project it back. So um, yeah, that's, that's my theory, he seems to think it would be completely possible to just keep on walking normally like never, nothing ever happened. Anyway, let's pass through this door, and uh, oh boy, and uh, just get ready to yeah, uh, face once again our favorite nemesis. All right, so uh, I'm not gonna fight him though. I'm just gonna avoid him, I think. Or if I'm gonna fight him, I'm I'm gonna just like um, I I don't know. I'm gonna oh here he is. Oh, also another thing that I did not know and that just recently figured out, uh, nemesis is left-handed. Obviously, when he's not. Uh, if if you can tell already by him carrying the that uh, rocket launcher, he's he's carrying on his left. So he's left-handed, so all his dodge to his right, and he won't really um, attack you much because his left hand tangy. I don't I don't know really. So let's put this in and trade for that. Let's put this in and trade it for uh, the power cable. Let's trade this in and trade it for something something. Uh, the machine oil. And now we all all we need is the fuse, which I've carefully put right there. Why do we need all this? You might be asking yourself. First of all, combine the oil additive with the machine oil to make the mixed oil. Second, of, uh, after that, just combine this with that to make more handgun bullets. Cause uh, I don't know, just I feel like I need some more. Uh, do I have any B? Cause I, I I feel like I could get some more shotgun shells. But seeing that the powder B is so scarce around here. Um, I, I could spare one, I suppose. It's a bit scarce around. I don't. It's not using, man. It's a bit scarce around here, so uh, yeah, I'll do it anyways. All right. So after all that, I'm deciding to avoid. Uh, but take a nerd with me. I'm gonna avoid uh that dude. What's his face? Can I? Should I heal my? I probably should heal myself right now, but I'm I'm still not going to. I'm gonna avoid uh, Nemesis for now. And actually gonna move on and go to the really whoa I just dodged him so yeah I guess it is left-handed um, I'm, I'm just gonna go to the train add all the components to the train and get it to moving oh seriously come on shoot at me bastard you will not be able to um, so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna avoid all that good stuff now if you stand by the door he will never show. As soon as you exit the door or get away from it. Really? Still hit me? 
and he's gonna try to shoot me again as soon as I get some distance. This whose idea was to give a rocket launcher to already overpowered monster? Right, if I stand by this door, it will never show up. As soon as I start moving, he opens the door and comes after me, which I think is one of the few monsters that actually opens nearly every door when he's actually chasing you and yeah, not cool, but whatever. So we're at this area again and I think, oh yeah, he's still here, still following us, still stalking. Oh, and there's freaking crows coming out now, I'm just gonna avoid them. Anyways, let's go back to this area we've, which we've been before and move on. But what the hell? What's going on? Oh, don't tell me that monster is gonna show up again. Where is he gonna show? Are we gonna have to fight? Oh no! The ground comes off you. Oh well. Guess what we're gonna have to do now? You're gonna have to get a choice. You can either go up or go down. What will I choose? Uh, I'm gonna choose go up. Uh, climb up or jump off. I'm gonna climb up and try to dodge this crate. Jumping off, um, I don't want to go down through that hole. Thing, you know, it's it, it's common sense that if you go down to a hole, uh, you don't really come out of there very healthy. <laughs> let's just leave that at that. So I'm not going to. And let's move on. Pass through this door, and we're basically just gonna go where the train was. Save on this room. Uh, if you must, is there anything on here that I missed? Not at all. Right, save on this room if you will. Um, trust me, you might want to. Uh, save quite often, actually, in this game. And I'm not going to, though. And I remember he Oh, he's dead now. One shot kill. That was cool. With green blood all over the place. Which uh, I would assume is blood. So, yeah, just shoot that guy off. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's go to do where the train was. Which is kind of a bit far away still. Kind of. Not too much though. We've been through the elevator there and uh, yeah, we're just gonna go back and use all the components and haul ass out of this town. Sadly enough, we're actually gonna... Oh, it, it's through here, through this door. We're also gonna stop the video for now, right here, and uh, see you guys next one. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, if you wanna subscribe, by all means, go for it. Peace.